Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will be reviewing four different robotic vacuum cleaners that I have been using over the last eight years. We will also discuss if robotic vacuum cleaners really work and make your life any easier. What are their limitations? Can a robotic vacuum cleaner really replace a big traditional vacuum cleaner? And how to choose the right robotic vacuum cleaner as per your needs? Three of the robotic vacuum cleaners that I will talk about in this video are in the budget range. I bought them for less than 100 euros each. The fourth one is a bit pricier at 400 euros, but is packed with a lot of features. I have used one or the other of these robotic vacuum cleaners every single day over the last eight years. So I definitely have a lot of information to share with you in this video. So definitely stay tuned till the end. So the first question that comes to mind is, do robotic vacuum cleaners really work? Do they make your life any easier? Well, based on my experience over the last eight years, I would say that they do work, but you need to know how to make them work for you. You need to do a little bit of groundwork, a little bit of preparation, and you need to know the frequency in which you should be using a robotic vacuum cleaner to get the best out of it. When I bought my very first robotic vacuum cleaner, which was the Dirt Devil Spider, in the beginning, I tried to use it like the big traditional vacuum cleaner and expected it to give the same results. No wonder I was disappointed till I figured out that the robotic vacuum cleaners give the best results when you use them almost every day and clean their dust compartment also every day. Before you switch the vacuum cleaner on, you need to do some prep and clear up the floor of any small objects that could get sucked into the robot. You also tuck away any wires hanging on the floor that might get entangled in the robot. Any lightweight floor mats or clothing needs to be put away and you might need to move your light furniture around for the robot to reach places that you wanted to clean, for example, under the dining table. For me, the robotic vacuum cleaner works the best when I use it to clean room by room. So you leave the robot in the middle of your room, switch it on and shut the door. Let the robot do the cleaning for 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the size of the room, before you move it to the other room. Now, this is applicable only if you're using a basic model. There are lots of advanced models on the market now, which allow you to define the area in your home that you wish to clean using an app. The Roborock S5 Max is one such robotic vacuum cleaner, which I will talk about later in this video. Now let's do a comparison of the four robotic vacuum cleaners. iRobot Roomba 605, Roborock S5 Max, Ecovax D-Bot Slim, the Dirt Devil M607 Spider. We will do the comparison based on a couple of parameters like whether or not the vacuum cleaner has a mopping function, the cleaning efficiency, ease of cleaning the robot, runtime, scheduling possibility, the price and a couple of other parameters. And these are the parameters that one needs to keep in mind while buying a new robotic vacuum cleaner. The first parameter is mopping function. Out of these four vacuum cleaners, Wet mopping is possible only with the Roborock S5 as it has a water tank. Dry mopping is possible with the Ecovax, but the other vacuum cleaners being compared do not have any mopping function. The second parameter is cleaning efficiency. In my experience, all these robots do a great job of cleaning the floor. The Roborock is surely the best, mainly because it is also equipped with the wet mop. Roborock is also great for cleaning carpets. All the robotic vacuum cleaners normally are not able to clean thin rugs that slip easily. The third very important parameter is ease of cleaning the robot. As you know, machines are supposed to make our life easier and not harder. So if a machine needs a considerable amount of work on your end, it surely is not worth your time. All these machines are easy to clean with the exception of the Roomba 605. Especially the brushes underneath are very hard to clean simply because of the design. The side brush needs to be unscrewed for cleaning. Although this does not need to be cleaned too often, it does require some effort on your end. Next parameter is the runtime. By runtime, I mean how long does the fully charged battery survive during a cleaning cycle. All these robots have a runtime of at least an hour, which is sufficient for a small apartment. 
the Roborock has the best runtime of 180 minutes, followed by the Ecovacs and the Roomba. For me, the Dirt Devil used to run out of battery in the middle of the cleaning cycle, which was a bit frustrating. Next parameter is scheduling possibility. The best scheduling possibility is offered by the Roborock, in which you can even schedule the cleaning cycle by room. This is possible as the Roborock is quite an advanced robotic vacuum cleaner, which maps your entire home the first time you set it up. You can then designate names to different rooms or cleaning areas and schedule a cleaning session per area using the app. With the other robots being considered, only basic scheduling is possible, where you can simply set a time to start the cleaning session every day. Parameter number six, obstacle detection. The Roborock S5 is pretty good at detecting obstacles such as moving objects, slippery rugs, stairs or narrow areas which are hard for it to navigate. The Ecovacs is also pretty good at this, but it does tend to get stuck under furniture simply because of its shape. It is a square with rounded corners, which in my opinion makes it harder for it to come out from under small pieces of furniture. It also tends to get stuck at the base of my dining table chairs, which look like this. Obstacle detection is poor in the Roomba 605 and the Dirt Devil Spider. These two have knocked over a couple of lightweight candle stands at my place several times. And on several occasions, these two decided to stop right under the bed and it was quite a challenge to rescue them from there. The Roborock S5 is great at finding its home base or charging station and returning to it as it has the maps in its memory. The Ecovax is able to navigate to its charging station as well, provided the charging station is placed properly. The charging stations for robotic vacuum cleaners in general do need to be placed in open, uncluttered areas with sufficient space around. Well, the Roomba 605 needs a little help to reach its home base. Parameter number eight, app control. With the exception of the Roborock S5 Max, the other vacuum cleaners being considered cannot be controlled via an app. Parameter number nine, noise. The Dirt Devil Spider and the Roomba 605 are quite loud. Roborock S5 allows you to choose the cleaning mode with the different noise levels, which is a great feature to have. The Ecovacs Debot Slim is quite okay in terms of noise. Parameter number 10, the price. Looking at the features, you might have guessed that the first three vacuum cleaners in the list are in the budget range. I bought these on Amazon Prime Day under 100 euros. The Roborock S5 Max is priced around 400 euros currently, but it is fully packed with a lot of useful features. I guess you know by now that the Roborock S5 Max is surely the best out of all these. The other three basic models clean equally well, but they have their own limitations as discussed. Now you might be wondering if a robotic vacuum cleaner could be a solution to all your home cleaning needs and if it can replace the big old traditional vacuum cleaners. Unfortunately, the answer is no. Though robotic vacuum cleaners do make your life much easier by automating the routine cleaning in your home without any effort on your end, they cannot replace the big traditional vacuum cleaners because of some limitations. For instance, the robotic vacuum cleaners cannot reach the narrow nooks and corners in your home. Though they can clean under your furniture, where you would have to struggle to reach with the big vacuum, the robots cannot clean your couch. Big traditional vacuums have also considerably more suction power than the robotic vacuum cleaners. That said, it surely saves you a lot of time and energy if you use a robotic vacuum cleaner for routine cleaning of your home in between the occasional intense cleaning sessions with your big vacuum. There are lots of robotic vacuum cleaners on the market currently in different price ranges. As discussed earlier, the basic models clean very well too. They might not offer you advanced features, but they do get the job done. One way to venture into this area could be to start with the basic model to begin with and see if it works for your home based on its setup and slowly upgrade to an advanced model. This is what I did and it worked out well for me. Hopefully the parameters that I discussed will help you make a decision. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Can I also ask you for a little help? I want to reach a thousand subscribers for my channel by the end of this year. 
and you could really help me by simply clicking on the subscribe button. It does not cost you anything, but it would really help me grow further. Thanks a lot and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.